glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Notre Dame's been the talk of college football so far. Emphasis on so far. Way too early to think about crystal footballs in big time postseason games. You have to maintain your focus if you want to stay on top. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. of just 15,000 when it opened in 1950, all the way to 83,000 plus today. Every seat at Dope Campbell Stadium in Tallahassee is full for our game today. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 24. Florida State's coaching staff, the fans, I think everybody's been waiting to see this kid play, and here he is. Well, he's a star quarterback. He seems to bring everything to the table. The crowd, I think, senses he's ready to have a big day. And when your star quarterback feels good at playing at home and he gets off to a good start, some big things can happen to this offense. And they get nice yardage on that run. Munoz picks up five with the carry. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on their own 29. Pitches back. He makes it to the 32-yard line. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. Again on third down. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. You know, the quarterback, I think, could have done a better job with a pre-snap read to be able to see and recognize the blitz. That way he could have communicated and maybe adjusted the protection up front. That time, a miscommunication by the offense alignment against the blitz freed up the defensive line to get the pressure on the quarterback. Pendleton, back to return it. Sometimes it's not the huge distance, but precision that you need from your punter. Nicely done. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. He dives and he'll be marked down. Game of 
six yards. First down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Go down. Go down. Number 16's coming. Check Mike. Check Mike. Check Mike. Check Mike. Check Mike. Check Motion. 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 And he's immediately tackled. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Just throws this one away. It's second and 10. Ball on the 45-yard line. quickly to the tight end and down he goes at the 41 yard line i like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker it was just a better call by the offense and that's why it's a first down pass is caught the defense lays him out mclean gains four yards on that reception That's a great tackle at the 41. Third down now, they need to get it down to the 31. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Irish. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. He makes the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Wildcats took the field today ranked 13th but wanting to prove they deserve a spot in the top 10. We have got an all-out Donnybrook on our hands. The Wildcats are out front, 3-0. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Thornton is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. Notre Dame's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 35. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. The Seminoles had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. And he's tackled at the 38-yard line. From their own 38 yard line. First down. Mike 56, Mike 56. Ready? He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 43. That'll make it second and four. The 
Seminoles running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Now he's scrambling. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Third down. They're about four yards away here on third down. German. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Let's go! Round 50! And he's tackled right away. He's in trouble, and he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. That's a loss of eight yards. That'll make it second and long. Larry, Larry, Larry! Mike 34, Mike 34! Scoot, scoot, scoot! Down to lose one. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. 7-0, Notre Dame. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he hauls that one in. Brought down at the 47. That'll bring up third and six. This is the eighth play of this drive. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set, and he comes in with his down packing. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 39 yard line. To the 39 yard line. First down. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. And this is the 10th play of the drive. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. He's on the run, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. That'll make it third and 13. It's now third down and long. 13 yards to go for the first down after the sack. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. You never know what will happen when the ball ricochets like that. Good effort by the defender. Maxi is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Notre Dame is up by a touchdown. He's out to the 30. He gets to about the 34-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. And they make the stop around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and two. Let's go, let's go! Mike 16, Mike 16. Tackle at the 39.
Third down, five yards to go. Ball on the 39. He's going to try and scramble. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. They're going to come up short here on this third down. The defensive line did a great job of getting some penetration, and the overall defensive effort was big there to set up this fourth down. Cowan is back awaiting the punt. And down he goes at the 31. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Nice run there. Tailback picked up seven on the draw. Florida State will take their first time out of the half. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That'll bring the third and two. Not over here. Watch one, watch one. I got one, I got one, I got one. Tackle made right around the 48-yard line. From the 48-yard line. It's first down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. And he dives forward. I'm telling you, quarterbacks who can run the ball are so hard to stop. You have to scheme around them, which takes the best coverages out of your defensive playbook. Slings it. Knocked out of bounds at the 22. You've got to play with that kind of purpose to move the ball against this defense. First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Florida State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. It. He's in space. He's pushed out of bounds at the 12 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Here's the eighth play of the series. Receiver dropped it incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. The kick is up and it's through the uprights. Here's an update from the studio and restate. The Wildcats entered today's game ranked 13th in the country knowing they had to have an impressive win to move into the top 10. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. The Bobcats' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. Joseph's physical brand of running, getting behind his pads, has led him into the end zone twice. The Wildcats have the lead 20-7. 7-3 in this one. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Oh, man, did he take a hit. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Notre Dame holds a four-point lead. He has some room. 
gains his way to the 33-yard line. And the delayed handoff works for a big game. Got to be happy with the effort there by your tailback. First and 10. Ball on their own 33. Blue 14. Blue 14. Kill it, motion me out. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He fires. Big yardage on the catch, and he's immediately pushed out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 31. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws and it's knocked away. Great instinctive timing by the corner to deflect the pass. That's just really solid coverage skills. He's under some heat. Notre Dame's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Wade picks up about five yards on that hookup. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Five wide. Going to go across the middle. Cuts. And down he goes at the 12. Notre Dame is up four. Quick throw, almost intercepted. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. Notre Dame's up by four. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's, it's fun to watch. It's something that as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackling you know you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in and year out and, and that's what we're seeing today david and i will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio the best seat in the house belongs to brad nestler and kirk herb street Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Pendleton from the three. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime. To counter that five wide receiver set. Quick pass, and he's tackled at the 42. That's a game of 13. First down. Notre Dame is up by four. Let's go, let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. Steps out of bounds at the 45. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll spread the field with five wide. And now the ball is loose. And the quarterback comes in and scores. 
scoops up the fumble. And that one's recovered by the cornerback. Funny, because you usually don't see corners down there picking up loose balls. They're more worried about interceptions. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. It's second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. Mike 56, Mike 56. That's right. That's right. They bring him down in the backfield. That brings up third and 14. He zips it. And he's taken down right around the 24-yard line. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Complete and taken down immediately. Causey picks up six yards with that grab. That brings him second and five. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go out there, check the outs out there. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Right Running. 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 Munoz picks up a yard on the play. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Ready? Oh. The 10. Tackled after decent pickup. Second and nine. Ball on the ten yard line. He's scrambling. And they got it. They've really thrown the quarterback's rhythm off and rattled his confidence with such a relentless pass rush. He's not himself out there at all today. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. It's up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard line. Yards. 
So the offense comes out after their last drive, had the ball end up in the defense's hands by way of a fumble. Sometimes when you lose the football, you start to focus a little bit more. So a turnover can actually work out in your favor. Notre Dame with a one-point lead. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He would tackle immediately. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. From their own 30-yard line. Third down. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's taken down at the 32. Hart is the putter. At the 42 yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure, but they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's sacked. A defensive end with this kind of speed. It's an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. 7-6, Notre Dame. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Draw play, and the defense was ready for it. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. Third down and very long here. The defensive line can pin their ears back and come after the quarterback. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Makes it fourth and long. Maxi to punt. Brought down at the 40 yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Notre Dame is up one. Brought down around the 49-yard line. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. Three down, three down. The 16's coming. Check Mike, check Mike. Check, check. Fires right side. He's got his tailback. That makes it first and ten. Three down, three down. Hey, check box 16. Check box 16. Check it. Hands it to the back. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. He laterals the ball, and they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Third 
third down, and they need to get it to the 23. He gets sacked on the play. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, if you like defensive football, you got to love this one. Well, neither one of these offenses have gotten really into a rhythm the entire ball game. Still the fourth quarter to be played. It's anybody's game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Less than three minutes in the game. Down. 14. Tackle made right around the 22-yard line. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 22. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Taken down in the backfield. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 30. Three down, three down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Set. Round 50. Round 50. Throws complete and he's hit right away. on the defensive coordinator's side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Fires it out. And he hits him hard at the 46. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Now he's scrambling. And they got him. Open field, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Nice play across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 23. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. From the 23-yard line, 
It's first down. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled right around the 16-yard line. The quarterback didn't see anybody open downfield, so he took it himself and picked up some decent yardage. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. Well, that's a great job by this offense. The defense knew that the run was coming, and they still could not slow them down. Pick up a first down, and it allows them to continue to work this clock. Just to get them to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. This is the type of kick that puts you on the map. If you miss, you're just another kicker. If you make it, you're praised forever. The kick is away. And he got it. Game over. Man, that is as big as it gets. He had the whole game on his shoulders, and he was perfect. You really feel great for a guy when he's able to come through like this. is lined up to kick this one off. Pendleton fields it at the 7, and down he goes at the 27-yard line. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 9-7, Seminole. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.